news update this morning from Detroit's West Side. That's where a woman's body was found inside of a home. Yeah, police believe it may be linked to a mother who went missing with her children. And 7 Action News reporter Kim Russell is live right now at DPD headquarters. So, Kim, do police have any leads as to where these two children are? If they do have any leads as to where these children are, they are being very tight lipped about their investigation. There has been no Amber Alert issued at this point. We've asked why we're looking into that, waiting for an answer. In the meantime, the family is just desperate to find these two kids and they want to know that they are okay. Take a look at this picture. Six year old Kayla Hunter and six month old Aaron Justice haven't been seen since May 24th when they and their mother, 26 year old Alicia Fox, went missing from their home on Ardmore in Detroit. Seven Action News was with their family members yesterday as they went door to door, passing out flyers, asking for tips. Then last night, the family got a tip. Someone called and said they saw Alicia's husband with a U-Haul truck near an abandoned house on Penrod. The family says they then went to that house and found Alicia's body. Now, the body's identity has not yet been confirmed by police, but family members say they recognize her. They say it's no coincidence Alicia's husband, Aaron Justice, took off after she went missing. Her husband fled the state. If her husband is spotted pulling up from an abandoned house in a uh, U-Haul truck, going in with hammers and tools, and then a couple of days later, whatever, her body's down there. We're not rocket scientists standing here, but we're not idiots also. 7 Action News got a hold of a relative of Aaron Justice, the husband, to police want to find this family once found. And that relative said he's innocent, that he had nothing to do with the disappearance of Alicia or the kids. In the meantime, the search continues for those kids. If you have any information, call 911. Reporting live in Detroit, Kim Russell, 7 Action News.